Okay, let's look at some fractions. Remember that you've got to tell your calculator that these are fractions. So I know that I'm going to have a parenthesis around here, I've got to have a parenthesis around here, and I've got to have a parenthesis around the one half also. Remembering that your calculator knows order of operation, it knows that it's going to divide before it adds. The only thing different about what I have to do is I have to remember that that 2 and 5 eighths, I have to put in a plus sign. Remembering that all of your fraction bars are division signs. So when I punch this in, I punch it in exactly as it is. I'm going to put in parenthesis, 2 plus 5 divided by 8, end parent, plus beginning parent, 3 divided by 4, end parent, divided by, now notice on your calculator when you put the divided by in, it uses a slash, um, which is the universal division sign. Then parenthesis, 1 divided by 2, and parenthesis. Everybody hit pause at this point, and go ahead and see if you will get the correct answer. So, when you did it, you got 4.125. Okay, now you remember that the general rule is that if you start in fractions, you need to end in fractions. So I've got a little more work that I have to do on this problem. What I have to do is I have to get rid of the whole number because this calculator wants to deal with the just the decimal part. I'm going to take just the decimal part and convert it to the fraction. To get rid of the 4, all I have to do is at this point is say subtract 4. Notice on your display it's going to say answer, meaning that it took the answer from the previous problem and it's going to subtract 4. Now on your display your answer should be 0.125. That's a nice decimal doesn't have a whole number in front of it. Now what I have to do is I have to change that to a fraction. In the right side of your, I'm sorry, your left side, you want to find a math key. When you hit your math key, you have four menus across the top, but we want the one that says math. The very first one says change that to a fraction. All I have to do is hit enter because it is highlighted. And then it says, shall I change that answer to a fraction? Hit enter again. Drat, I forgot to subtract the four. Notice that I came up with an improper fraction. Let me at this point go back and pretend like I did what I told you to do. I'm gonna take the 4.125, subtract the four, and go to my math key, hit enter, hit enter, and it's a 1 8. But I have to remember that that 4 is part of the problem. I have to remember that it does go there even though the calculator has separated them. Well, now I'm getting into some uglier ones. These, by the way, are called complex fractions because I have fractions in the top and the bottom so that it's more complex than what you would normally do. Okay. Remembering that I must put my fractions inside parentheses means these are all going to be inside parentheses. But I have one more thing that I have to tell the calculator. I have to tell the calculator that this is the entire bottom number. Go ahead right now and put this in, remembering that you've got to put the plus signs in here and you got to remember those are divided by signs. Go ahead and hit pause and hit play again once the answer, when you have the answer. Hopefully you got a 5 for the answer.